to break down your nutrition a little bit because obviously when you get to 306 pounds, you're not doing that necessarily due to lack of exercise. You're, you're eating things um, and you're not moving. And it's a combination of factors. And, and the running and, and doing our Apex 10 workout, that metabolic resistance workout in the FitFollower 30X program are factors, but you obviously changed your nutrition in a tremendous way, both in your resolve not to eat things like the candies, but you also added good stuff in. What worked for you with your nutrition? What kind of routine did you establish that was it, you were able to be consistent with after years of having habits that were keeping you at a heavy weight? Number one is that it's simple. It's not a gimmick. I, I don't have to give up bread. I don't have to give, you know, part of it was just the meal plan. I've always told people just made sense. And when I went to my doctors and they saw the change, they asked what I did. And I told them they were so excited that I wasn't doing the lot, the latest fad. It was something that could be kept up. Um, so that was very good. So number one, it was simple. It made sense. I wasn't happen, happen to eat things that I couldn't stand um, or whatever. And my wife, my wife wanted me to be successful. And since I was gone most of the day, she did most of the preparing. Um, but I would, I would get my breakfast, the, the shake or whatever, and then um, take my lunch with me. And then when I came home, she either prepared something or I went out to the grill and, and chicken's my thing. I'm okay with chicken almost every night. You know, I, I don't mm -hmm. care for fish, so that's not really an option for me. Um, the occasional beef, whatever, but, um, so we just varied it up, but kept it simple. We didn't make fancy meals because that's just not us for the most part. Um, and kept it simple and just had everything on hand, ready to go, knowing what we were doing. And I know like, okay. some so you found some go-to meals and some go-to foods for you at evenings. It seems like grilling some kind of chicken. What'd you throw on the side? Vegetables? rice what 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 was what that would your plates look like as you're losing weight yeah we were pretty common with um sweet potatoes um for the mm -hmm. for the carb um but i love rice so some brown rice was always good and we had that pretty regularly um, really those were the two that we switched back and forth okay. from most quinoa quinoa we added quinoa back when i thought it was quinoa you know so um yeah, <laughs> found quinoas, out how to yeah. find out how to pronounce it and prepare it and it wasn't so bad um i liked that um then vegetables we um asparagus broccoli um salad were probably our nice. biggest ones um sometimes squash zucchini stuff like that but, yeah and, and then just in the breakfast you mentioned you mentioned shakes for breakfast. And this is something that we've been recording new episodes on the importance of regimenting your nutrition to get like a consistent routine. So you don't have to think about it. And when one thing's our most successful members use these morning shakes because they're simple, they're easy. You throw the stuff in the blender and, and you, it tastes great and it keeps you full. Talk to us about that. Cause that was probably a big change. I imagine you weren't making shakes beforehand in the morning, but you started <laughs> yeah. doing it when you joined fit father. Tell us about that. I was one of those people that never ate breakfast unless I was out mm -hmm. to a restaurant or on a trip or something like that. I didn't eat breakfast. Um, but once I started eating in the day, I never stopped eating, you know, and, and eating all the wrong stuff. Um, so when the program called for eating breakfast, I know breakfast is the most important meal of the day. If you know, whatever I've heard all that kind of stuff. So I thought, okay, I, I need to take this seriously. Um, I don't remember if we started right out with shakes or if we started with eggs um, or whatever, but I got to it. And um, when we say shakes, I'm not talking about a prepackaged shake that you buy anywhere. You know, we make our own shakes and that was, that's part of the plan that Anthony has put together. And so we bought protein powder, um, included the rest of the ingredients for the shake and made that every day. And you get to the point where you look forward to it. It's like, it's what breaks your overnight fast and it's tasty mm -hmm. and there's different options for it. It doesn't always have to be the same one. Um, I love cinnamon. So cinnamon shakes are pretty much my go-to. So generally um, speaking, what are you throwing in your shakes? Cause I mean, I know because I help design these shakes or yeah. these, we call them smoothies, I guess you could say, but for people who are, who are listening, you know, we have, we have our fit father super fuel protein that is a good, a good use as a base. So it's protein powder plus vitamins, minerals, probiotics. What else are you throwing in your morning smoothie? Sure. Um, we, I use almond milk um, to avoid the dairy. Um, almond milk, uh, the protein powder. We started out with a, a generic um, protein powder just to keep it cheap and simple. But 
once once you created uh, super fuel i tried that and it was so much better that we do. i still buy that every month you know um so that's so that's the protein powder and then we use um, chia seeds and mm -hmm. cacao spinach mm -hmm. um some kind of you know either um i use monk fruit to sweeten it up a little bit um i know liquid mm -hmm. stevia is also approved or, or whatever encouraged and then you can add water or milk. Um, I add a little bit, um, excuse me, water or ice. I add a little bit of ice to make it a little bit thicker. Um, I don't like adding the water because it d dilutes the flavor for me. And um, mm -hmm. if I'm going to have something that every day I want it to be good, so I really like the flavor. And so I kind of keep it pretty much to where it is. And then, like I said, for me, I add cinnamon. Sometimes I switch it up and add some mint or coffee, nice. just different things. So you dialed in this shake and it's consistent. And I want to highlight something is you are a guy who is not eating breakfast, which is not necessarily a problem if your nutrition's good later in the day, right? Because right. one of our meal timing schedule setups we recommend is intermittent fasting. Like some guys, it is fine to skip that first meal and, and push it back, but you were in a trap. It seems like that you were not eating breakfast, but then you were just loading up the crap later in the day because your body was hungry, your blood sugar wasn't right, you know, you didn't have a good structure routine. So for you, this seemed like a good crux. The way you started your day kind of gave you this momentum and structure that you carried on throughout the day. Yeah. You don't get to 300 pounds by just eating two meals a day that are good. You get there by mm -hmm. when you start eating. Like generally, probably the first thing I would eat unless I had something laying around my office was lunch and was almost always fast food or um, if we went to a, a different kind of restaurant, I still got something that was not good for you. It was fat laden and, and whatever. And then I'm, I'm a sugar addict. I, there, there's just no two, no two ways about it. I just am. I love cake. I love donuts. I love certain candies, um, chocolate sometimes. It's not my big thing, but it is, you know, so, um, that, um, potato chips or ice cream at night. Um, I gave up mm -hmm. Coca-Cola a few years before I started the plan. So I was already pretty much drinking water, but it was only been, it would have only been two or three glasses a day. Um, nothing that would mm -hmm. have sustained me um, for the long, I mean, it's, I still, I still got dehydrated. So I was eating junk once I started the day and then switching mm -hmm. over to begin with a shake and then preparing my lunch and waiting till supper to eat. And, Again, somehow or another, I found the intestinal fortitude to not snack at night. Mm -hmm.